We're live. All right. There's our new uh, opening sound. Hey, Dork Cake showed up just in time. Hey, look at that. Wait, this is Flash at the Dork Table with this other idiot. What's what's your name again, sir? I, I don't know. I'm going to have to uh, figure it out as we go along. Are, uh, are, we, dork table. are we idiots today or are we sensible brainiac people today? Well, um, you tasked how, me. How about with, a little uh, of both? <laughs> oh, yeah, uh, I tasked you with the title of the show. Yeah. Anyway, yeah, this is Flash at the Dork Table and Vinny. And today we're going to do a podcast. Yeah. And I'm going to say hi to the bar. The, the bar. <laughs> I saw a barman and got lost. I'm going to say hi to the reallibertymedia.com chatters. We got barman, cowboy tech, A, hey, C, T, uh, Grimnir, Moose Girl, Miss Kate, Anti Asmo, Chloe. Charles Denis, Sir Cole, hey honey, Chloe again, me, I be done, CJ Dread, Meister Brow, Pox Five, Pox Phone, Rain, Arlene Fluke, Rob Works, Roams, Vin E, Phantom Beetle, Cyborg Noodle, Dakota, Dork Cakes, Z, Gromit, Java Doctor Two, Jays Nines, Jays Kozu, Nensen Dubois. Pox at home, pwn size, sock puppet, and skittle. Ah, <laughs> uh, what? The... What? Are you still? Oh, I, yeah, I just got knocked off. So oh there's, no! Here comes, here comes somebody else. Oh, I see you got knocked off. Hey, mental, what's up? But I got a backup coming, and, stand and, in the gap. And that's mental pancakes, everybody. Not mental patient. There's a difference, you know. <laughs> About what? Twenty-seven dollars a day. Oh, uh, drug addiction Bad. or mental, uh, what do they call it? Mental health disorders? And he says, oh, what a choice. Seems to be prevalent. I don't know. It's, what's going on? Hey, Grimner is even giving us a hello on the RLM chat feed. Hello. Yeah, because me and Vinny are riding again. And here's the Ponder Gander. But see, I came up with a really crazy name for the show today, but because, yeah, but because, I don't like. but because even I know better, I can call the show what I want and say it out loud. But titling it is a whole nother thing, and I wanted to call today's program podcast show "Unfucking the World" with Flash and Vincent. And today, we're try to unfuck it. Well, no, we're gonna. Teach everybody what to do so they can unfuck the world. I got it all figured out. Three oh, okay. Well, three step plan. Let's go, so sir. Easy. Good. All right. Wait a minute. I'm going to write this down. Three step plan. Three steps guaranteed to work. Nothing can go wrong. But you have to adhere to the three rules. Okay. One. First one you can't lie. Writing this down. Yeah. That's why I'm Number taking two. my time because I know it takes you longer to write than it does for me to speak. You Not can't, can't kill you people. Don't. No killing. No, 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 no. Murder is off the table. Can't do it. Well, I back that up and shorten it to what you said the second time. No killing. Okay, so number three. Yeah, number three, grow hemp like you know what you're doing. Yeah, that's there not a go. solve all. Yes, it is. It can help. No, no, no. It will. It will guarantee because you subsidize everything else that you know with the, the history from the past okay and you just, better. Al- just slowly eliminate the garbage from our life and the first thing to go would be oil out the fucking door oh you can't do it so well, you said you have to subtitle that like you know what you're doing yeah right? like, like yeah because it's a weed charlie you don't need to cultivate a weed weeds cultivate their self but if you're oh, gonna no. if you you're gonna so- now wait a minute oh. if you're gonna Okay, listen, sport. I don't know how to tell okay. you this, but there Go were ahead. plants growing unattended by mankind of the weed variety. And then people started to get smart. This is how I see this. Not you. I'm talking for me. But how I see it is people got smart and figured if they helped the plant, they could do a better job if they did things with a like a mathematical order and procedures and protocols. Do it in a certain fashion you get a better result. But the idea behind it is that the plant grows all by itself. 
Okay, we don't need to do anything to improve that particular plant, but there's ways to make more of it available if you, you ever do it. Smoke any uh, ditch weed up in? Fuck Nebraska? yeah, you betcha. That was a state too. Who? Oh, well, you God. can smoke bushel baskets of that and not get high. Well, that's not what I thought you were talking about, because uh, fellow that give us a ride, he says we got this. You got y'all get high. <laughs> he talks like that. <laughs> I said. Does a giraffe have nuts? And the next thing, I'm rolling this joint. And he, and Not the, always. And at the end of the ride, he says, and this is last year's crop. We ain't even got to this year's yet. <laughs> peanuts aren't actually nuts. So you could get peanuts to a giraffe and it wouldn't have nuts. Well, you can call it what you want. It's still the same thing. Here, the land of identification will go with my way is the right way. And pa Pancakes is especially fond of giraffes, so he probably posted some pictures of them on the RLM feed. Well, I'm going to have to spell check how to spell giraffe. I'm pretty Be sure that's well, not right. There's a special way to look at that particular animal because it's so freaking big. Maybe you know? I should open this up in the uh, actual. That's a good idea. We could do it all at once instead of doing it twice. Instead of the word, uh, word pad. Let's just take this and copy it and go over. And I did a little promotion here again for these fine folks. Yeah. Uh, well, yeah. Let me, pro pro writing aid well, Let me let me ask you a question now to, to kind of back up my idea about the lying thing, right? When the people, lying, yeah, or the lie. Because we have giraffes. Are we going to have uh, tigers and bears? Okay, dork boy. Now, because when people agree with a with a lie. It's obvious, but when you agree with the truth, you're not really doing much of anything. But the lie takes a lot of work to keep it alive. Now, the truth, does. you just say the say, truth. Say that again that, to me so I can listen to you. A lie has to be nurtured and, you know, repeated and really shoved up your ass so you can be so irritated that you'll believe it just to stop the pain. <laughs> Let's just stop the pain. We uh, but a truth, uh, well, but a truth is a, a completely opposite kind of thing. So the truth, it, uh, it de I think it depends on the delivery of how you're told the truth, is how your mind accepts or denies it. So the truth stands no matter. Well, true, but your perspective of that truth can be. Uh, diverted with indoctrination and lies, promises. Uh, a participation in the prophets will definitely make a warmonger out of a peacenik. So tainted by uh, personal gain. Yeah, yeah, to acquire personal gain. Because you know? they're all conned on that personal gain shit. You know, like you can drive two cars at one time. Because there, well, there's an ego... There's it's an There's ego a trip. Reason. Isn't there not a reason to have two cars? What if you had, uh, you wanted a highway car and then you want an yeah. off-road? Well, that's why they're made out of second-rate crap that you can't depend on, so that you'll have to depend on ideas like that instead of one car that will run for a hundred years. Well, that goes let's, in design, though. Come on. Let's. Oh, here you have, we go. Can you have a super fast racing car and then also a super fast uh, Baja Bug? Okay, why does it matter to have all these different kinds of things that all, in the long run... Personal do, gain and satisfaction. ...do the same thing? What's uh -huh. a, it's product product of your labor. Are you a hedonist? No. Are you a narcissist? No, I know, and I looked all this up. I'm, took a, some tests. I'm a hedonist to a degree. Yeah, I, you called me that, but I have to disagree. I'm not a hedonist. Okay. Well, I, I do yeah. what I want, but uh, uh, well, uh, wait does, a minute. That that does not mean it's for uh, uh, self-serving. Last week, when I asked you, uh, I was going to name your master. You told me you served yourself. Now you're denying yourself serving in the next week. Ah, what's no, going no, on here? No. I said no lying. <laughs> well, you can't then lie to me. Clarif <laughs> it needs clarification then. And clarify, because, son. Yeah, doing what you want. And being self-serving, uh, it can also have uh, multi-facets, right? Oh, negative consequence. Sure, you can get slapped in the skull <laughs> badly for being honest. <coughs> hey, 
than you can get financially. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <coughs> oh. Mm. You can get uh, financially come out ahead if you tell a lie. There you go. You know, when I was a salesman, let's just say this, mister. I didn't always tell the truth. I told the truth about the product, but not always the truth about quantity or price. <laughs> quantity and price was uh, dependent on the uh, customer's behavior. Yeah, I always found to be a salesman, you had to uh, believe in what you're selling. Well, there's things you need legally, and then there's things oh. that... You can only a, co a business can only acquire through certain kinds of distributor operations. It's all technical law shit, right? Trading laws. So, what I found out at an early age, I got myself involved with a, a, a distributor of a manufacturing firm that had petroleum products for sale, and that shit was big money. You know, looking back on it <coughs> at the time, it was pretty expensive, I suppose, to operate a gas station and getting your gas to the gas station, all the hoses and couplings and all that. And that's just that one part of it because there's truck tires, sold truck tires for a while too. That was... You cool. didn't go in there and like slit somebody's uh, fan belt or something, stole them a belt. No, no, no. no. But I'm just saying, I'm, I've sold things over the phone to people that were in a jam that needed it because, hey, these things are hard to get when you need them. And like the what? like truck tires or a tractor tire I sold a tire once that weighed 900 pounds didn't wow. even know i never even saw the damn thing right but i was pretty well trained at what i did so when the guy brought up well i don't need any of those because you pitch him something but when a, a person ain't talks to you and they say well i'm looking for one of these that, that's a sale and it was like a 900 pound tire sold over it was used and it sold for 1400 bucks <laughs> it was like wow what the hell did i sell but part of you know part of life is finding people that need what you have that's almost like the 800 pound gorilla how do you mean the 900 pound tire in the room Oh, <laughs> well, it was just such an oddity because uh, the truck, the truck outfit I called had some kind of farm and their cat had a, a tire needed to be replaced. Hannah's going to eat them up. And the way the, the way the phone call worked, the, uh, the other guy didn't have a clue that I didn't know what I was talking about. I was ho just talking in the receiver, listening to him on a speaker. And the, the guy that owned the business was telling me what to say. But you could only hear hear a voice if they were spoken right into the mouthpiece of the phone. So he couldn't hear anything else going on in the room. So he's having a conversation with the owner, but I'm doing all the talking. I see. <laughs> it was a... Uh, people were creative in the 80s, late 70s and early 80s. But So that, you were telemarketing. Oh, yeah. Fuck yeah. How did you was, find this person to sell on the 900-pound tire? Because I was doing... Um, places that had a certain amount of trucks out of a certain book then you just get their phone numbers and call them. so it was like trucking companies yeah it was specific about that yeah but they were so they had so many uh, so many trucks or we didn't call them i was uh -huh. after places that had a lot more uh, a lot more trucks than like two or three so did but you sell a lot of stuff i made a living at it let's just say that while i was doing it you yeah. know yeah, I, I found uh, golf cart tires. Let's see, golf courses used a shitload of tires on those little golf carts. And where would you all, you all middleman this, obviously. So where would Basically, you get yeah. product? You'd just go like in as like a broker. There was and, companies, uh, there's companies already. They're, they're, all, they're like a middleman to, to the people that supply it. Yes. And then, yeah, then they just sell, the, you know, they get other people to do the selling. It's not like a bad brokering deal. In, in the trucking business. You got the the broker well, that uh, this, this gets is, loads. This is years and, years and years ago. This is back in the late seventies and the early eighties. This is today. Things don't work the same way now. Because when I was physically doing it, uh, remember that that bright orange hose that you see on a big diesel truck dump or dumping gas. 
at a gas station. Thanks. It cakes. was big and black, and, and they had to lug that shit. It was real heavy. It has couplings, and they hook it up to the gas tank and dump the gas, right? Ha <laughs> ha. Did you look at the, uh, the post from Dark? No, I'm not opening posts. I was trying to explain what this is. Well, good. Uh, You're doing good. Is, You're doing you, good. Now, you don't understand it, you retard. It's Flash City, baby. Oh, uh, yeah, I'm uh, going to do some uh, adjustment. Here. Well, see, what regulation does for the business world is it forces customers. They have to buy the shit by law, period. There's no way around it. You can't use something else. or now. And then on top of that, then there's only certain places that the buyer can go to get these things because they're not for the public. They're for businesses. Now, anything that goes through government... The government is the most expensive way to go, so you try to go through some kind of retailer that's making a dollar. Because <laughs> all the government's got anyways, what, paperwork? <laughs> paperwork and shotguns, and some drones, some tanks. I see, I remember exactly what I posted on that, but they use, uh, you know, Congress has used uh, uh, in that manner for... Uh, Regulatory, well, or like with the Enron and well, Toyota this, yeah, but see, cases. When I was actually doing this was way before everything was internet. This is pre. This is phone days. There was no way to instantly check shit unless you knew somebody and had a phone number. That was as close as you could get. And back in those days, people either they believed you or they didn't. And then once you proved yourself and you sold them once, and then that was that. They'd come back to you again. Or recommend friends. And I sold a lot of crazy shit on the phone that because they were, um, there was laws forcing the person to have to buy them from somebody. <laughs> so why not me? Huh. Why not? Mm. Self-serving? Pretty much. I Yeah, shit. I was a lazy guy, but I wanted to eat. So I found that selling things was like half the work of labor. You just got to get there and then think and keep track of shit. But it's not sweaty and dirty. It's just mentally dirty because you got to really <laughs> bend the truth to people. Because if you told them the fucking truth, they wouldn't do it. Would you sell an ice cube to an Eskimo? At the, in those days, uh, yeah, sure, why not? But now, no, nah, I've changed. I've grown up since those days. I see it for what it truly is, and participating in it now is uh, pointless. And not only that, but I'm depriving a, a younger guy of his opportunity to find out what the fuck that's all about anyway. Because there's, it's not an endless, it's not a big pool. It's pretty small when you think about it. Because a lot of people do go through what we went through, and they don't progress beyond being in it then they stay in it forever it's not the only game there is to play but it's the one society accepts you know the nine to five family man thing and now you got all these splinter groups of weirdos from every corner of the world wow binaries and i well, i think it was it was either grim or mary that read a list of like 30 freaking um, genders i think it was mary did it mm. i'm pretty sure it was the friday night show she did before she didn't show up for the wednesday so it's the one before christmas yeah it was it was the show before christmas i'm pretty sure network well not a creature was uh, stirring. But, not me, even a flash. But me and Miss Mary are of the same age area. And we both, you know, we see the world the same way, a lot of ways. Where it doesn't seem like we do, but we do. Look we're at, not look against at. any of this shit. It's just, are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> do you have any yeah. predictions? You know, it's For, not too late. Did you get, I, I got in on the, uh, 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 with Grimner and, and <clears throat> Moosey last night for the uh, prediction show. No, I, on the I, I, ball. I looked. No, I looked for it this morning. I slept in late, but I didn't see it posted, so I was going to wait till tomorrow. Well, you know how Don't to tell me add what they your said. Okay, I'm not. Cause... You know how to add prediction, right? Well, yeah, but how am I going to predict? It's the last four days of the year. Three days. Well, you need to make a prediction uh, uh, of what for... it's going to happen when? Two days next next year. Oh, I'm going to make. Next? Oh wow, my screen just went black. 
Ouch. Move your mouse, you dork. Wow. Anyway, um, let me see. Prediction for It did this before. I'm going to have to shut down. Hold on. It's 420. It's I'll call you back. Way. Wait a minute. Hold on. It's 420, though. Just wait. Yeah. Uh, what the hell, man? I don't know why that happened. It happened earlier, too. Yeah. And I'm getting pinged with notice. Yeah, I'm just going to have to hit the power button and power uh, off and restart. Well, I'll recall you. I'll, All right. Wait. I'll be back. I'll, Okay. Ah, oh, man. Gonna... And I don't have my show notes saved. Oh, you don't? No, I have them, them in. I can't. I got a black screen. Can you copy copy and paste them to the... I got a um... black. I got a black screen. Oh, bye. I'll call you back. Uh, type I'll... to me when you want me to call you right back. All or right, you so... call me back when you're ready. Man, I'm going to try some other stuff. <laughs> I'll call you back. <laughs> Thank you for tolerating that. RLM folk out there in Radio Land, but we're having a little computer problem on Uncle Vinny's side, and geez, and I was explaining all the do's and don'ts about phone sales, and I didn't, I didn't think it was uh, dishonest because of anything other than pricing and uh, quantities, because quantity and pricing was basically what convinces somebody in business to make a decision. But the rest of it was all true. The quality of the stuff was all good. But the getting, you know, getting to talk to the guy, sometimes you had to be a little creative. And, and uh, in the day, we didn't have any better way than to, to call up and say, ask just right off the t- who's in, in charge of the office? And people know right there you're selling something. After, you know, after a while, they got used to it. So, um, but if breaking in into it it was kind of fun because it was new and people hadn't been exposed to phone sales yet and you could talk to somebody and they go are you are you in california <laughs> you say yeah what the hell time is it there it's because it'd be six o'clock in uh, nebraska <laughs> or maybe i'm thinking the uh, midwest i should go to the east coast it'd be six o'clock in say new york and it would be three o'clock in l.a well, I'd be on the phone at three o'clock calling this guy. So I was I was on a completely different schedule that everybody else around, you know, the, all my peers were living on, because that's where at the time for what I was doing, that was where the money was at. So three days a week, I'd get up that early to go do it. But long ago and far away, but things like that, jobs like that, taught me the basics of of how businesses buy and sell, and why they do it. Yeah, well, there's only one reason that anybody in business buys something, and that's really the bottom line is the money. Because they're, you know, they're already forced by regulation to buy this shit. So then at that point, I think Vinny just got back. But at that point, then it's just a matter of how many do I have to get to buy to qualify for your game. And it was just easier to to do it with people that were nice than not nice. I yeah, that makes me mad. Hey, Vincent's back, and yeah. the RLM oh, oh. was saved. I lost all that. I'm it's, sorry, you yeah, poor fellow. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And what's going on here? Why does why would it just suddenly do something like that? Maybe the NSA didn't like it. Well, this can be a problem. Ouch. Okay. Are you mad and? Yeah, Violent. Uh oh. Are you gonna like turn into the Hulk and break things? <laughs> no. That's just TV, right? I don't know. Well, anyway, I was giving the RLM Dark Table crew uh, uh-huh. a, my perspective of the sales end of phones, phone it sales. Did, it didn't give me an option either to uh, uh, restore. Oh, wow. Maybe. <laughs> Grim would be able to answer if you asked him a specific question. Sorry to put you in the hole like that, Grim. You gotta, or maybe you Rob know. Works. Hey, we didn't have no Rob Works today. He was Rob. here earlier. Yeah, well, I like Rob. Me and Rob get along fine. Two grumpy old pricks. <laughs> it's like, eh, I know what you mean. Because it's just talk. You know, it's basically, it's just, uh, it's like an attitude, but it, doesn't really have a backbone to it it it's, it's hmm. 
I'm kind of stuttery on how to explain what I think about it. It's just old habits that don't go away. I wonder if that's safe by default. I guess not. I don't know. But I'll just talk about you can't help people that don't want to be helped. Mary's taught me that pretty much. And not, not that I try to help anyone, but by watching her, it's that's, she's been a good example of, you know, this is the real world is kind of petty. And the few people that you meet along the way that aren't petty, you should stay in touch with those few people. So that's what the RLM is for. Because we all seem to come around every, you know, here and there. And the lifestyle's gotten busier for Mary like the last year. Yeah, about a year now, huh? No, not a year. About since June, I think. When she decided to be Farmer Brown and go and raise taters <laughs> i don't i forget what she grows but she you know, and then she does the oil stuff what's she doing with the oil stuff she's always doing something with if you ever need anything just tell mary oh the, yeah the essential oils yeah she knows yeah. that kind of shit well, she's yeah. smart michael yeah. she's smart i'm thinking you're talking about like the oil fields and stuff the oil oh yeah. no no essential no. oil see there's a big yeah. difference in that of course there is <clears> now what about, i do i gotta start all over man. i don't know i was talking about mary so it's kind of obvious you dork yeah are you being my you brain being a, is yeah i'm way like dork man. today man no i got i got slammed here off on this crowd, oh man. so you're all knocked mad. all my yeah. yeah well yeah yeah I why did it happen well, now I don't even remember what I wrote. Do you remember careless what I wrote? error? No, I have no idea. I can't see. <laughs> it's not me. This computer just like did a blink. Why would it uh, blink like that? I don't so, know. I'm gonna have to have help. I'm sure. If your computer blinks, what would make it do so? I have no idea. Oh. The, uh, the show notes just got a lot shorter. I think. Hey, what's the best job you ever had in your life? The one that you like the most to do? Uh, lemon trees. I think I enjoyed that a lot. Went all over the place, all over. Uh, well, man, I've trimmed the trees in many, many states, but California, particularly back in the second half of the 80s, was a lot of fun. Went all over the state. Think you'll ever do it? Trees. Yeah, you think you'll ever do anything like that again? Or oh, no, did you I, have your moment and it's I'm, gone? Yeah, I'm too old for climbing trees now. Hmm. Ever do anything mental? Or was it all physical? Yeah, I was uh, an inspector. And, uh, For what? Pop fabrication. Whoa, Mr. Brains. Oh, so, I'm so yeah. impressed with you now. So then I, I said, yeah, I'd rather yeah. build them. So then I quit going and measuring other people's work. And laid so out you, my own. you, yeah, you're a hands on guy yourself, right? Yeah. yeah. Um, I like running equipment, that's a lot of fun. A bulldozer is a lot different than, say, a, a backhoe and uh, that sort of thing. Well, I've never Where, driven them, but I've sold some of the components to build them. It's pretty amazing, the, the planetary gears involved inside the, making a, all that energy, uh, be able to translate that power uh, into force on the ground in a, uh, a bulldozer, for instance, how that operates. And, and when you're when you're operating a bulldozer, you're... You're going from the seat of your pants. You feel it before you can see what you're doing. You got to feel it. Unlike, uh, say, if you're running a, a backhoe and you got an arm sticking out there, or, uh, even a crane or uh, sky track, um, it, you know, it's a hand eye coordination. The other mm. more. Yeah, like, uh, like playing a video game with a, you know, like playing Pong or something. That, that simple is what I mean. Not that hard. It's not. It's not easy to do. It's just uh, that mechanism where you got an arm that moves because you pl you move this third party thing and it moves the arm. No. So no. You've you've yeah you so you have, yeah. you played the uh, uh, the claw video. No, I video. I'll go you one better. You want to hear a weird one? I got a chance to do, and I've told okay. this one before. But when I was in Jacksonville, I got to go to Camp Lejeune and go actually fly this the helicopter simulator oh yeah well i'm mean, uh, small enough to fit in it too well the, yeah you had to only be so big or you couldn't fit in it and move and operate the shit at all guy bigger than me couldn't do it 
you couldn't do it. You'd be, be so like cramped. a rat hole guy in Vietnam. Yeah, but it's a particular helicopter, and I can't remember the name of it now. It's, it's made by Bell Helicopters. Fifteen years. I, I worked. Uh, Don't know. A job inside of uh, Bell Helicopters. But it was a big dome, and then when you go, get inside it in in the steel encagement, you climb a stairs and just, and you get in, and it's so small that I could barely fit in. And I'm little, but I barely could move when I was sitting in it. And then operating the stuff is, boy, you talk hand-eye co coordination. You have to learn step-by-step step to operate a helicopter. Yeah, the, very, uh, yeah, the controls trans, uh, translate. Uh, you, can over, you can overwork real quick. In other words, you can uh, overcompensate more. Over yeah, your control. yeah, right. And so that's something you got to ease into and feel. Uh, I did a, a flight simulator in uh, El Paso. It's an arcade game. Well, yeah, but it, it happened with no I crashed. I crashed. No yeah. experience. I never tried it before. It was just, hey, do you want to go do this? And I went, hell yeah, I want to go try that. Are you kidding? I sure. <clears throat> why wouldn't I want to try it? But I didn't do very good at it because of what you said. I was overcompensating because I drove cars and motorcycles and trikes and shit like that. But a helicopter is a lot more delicate. And if I had read a book or or, you know, I'd been up when it saw, saw how it was done, I would have been more prepared. But it wasn't, so it was pretty bad. <laughs> but it was fun. <laughs> I had you, a great time. Did you hear that ding notification, Sam? Mm, from what? Right now? Like, yeah, just a second ago. No, it just sounds like you're taking a pee. Oh, I just poured some water. Okay, then it sounds like you poured some water. I was close. <laughs> <laughs> You're asking me what I hear. I wasn't volunteering anything. Well, it was before that. Be careful what you ask. Well, you didn't give me a time slot to work in. Your time Be slot. Be specific when you ask a question. So, no. So you like my three-step plan. You think you could uh, live? Could you live a life? Think about it, right? If we knew <clears throat> that we were already living in the truth, there was no doubting it. This is exactly the truth. There you go. But no, we live in this crap where everybody's competing and lying about something to get where they're going that that was the the moral of my trying to remember my days as a phone salesman okay <laughs> but hey, I, I have, have uh, I, I have uh, a real good uh, segue into a subject mm. here that i've been looking at and, uh, are we going to talk about sex bots no oh okay good Never mind. Go ahead, continue. Uh, this, yeah. <laughs> I I saw the the <laughs> chit chat on that. So good luck in your endeavors. Uh, uh, I think you'll, you'll go far. <clears throat> I'm a well. Never mind. Where was I? You were ah, yes. making your way into a new conversation from mm -hmm. my my experience as a cutthroat salesman. Yeah. No. On from that into uh, yeah. what you just said last. The lying, the lying, yeah. and yeah, <clears throat> that sort of thing. There's no that sort of thing about it. I mean, if there, it was just, if we just Here's already were, if we were already living in things that were not based on crap, the way they are, they were just told the truth about, then the results would be different. Because yeah. the reason we're where we are is because all the people that do it are all fucking lying. Right, they, and that's that's the segue right there into and, uh, and the proof that they're lying to us are in the results of what we get. Uh, how many right. fucking morons are out there that want to argue that the shit we're given is garbage? We deserve better than this, unless we're ignorant and we believe what we're getting is the best there is. And I doubt it. <laughs> I I think we're getting screwed. There you, you go. Think? Oh, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> Uh, yeah yeah but you think uh so let, let me walk that on in here to uh what it is i've been uh, taking a little closer look at uh brady violations particularly uh and how that uh, uh applies into the bundy ranch so my prediction uh last night on the freakers ball for this next year is that the bundy ranch will uh come under uh Subjection by by the federal authorities again. They're going to have to come in and uh, round up these uh, wayward uh, trespass cattle, and 
so there will be a another uh, cattle rattle or cattle battle or cattle gather hmm. taking a lot of yeah well, twisters see, there. And, and you know who's going to win in the end right well who's going to come out on top the fed I, I, it comes it goes back to our show uh um uh, where it was uh, what was it with that old um i've got it front off down a different road well, let me just, just back on up to where i was at so okay you try that uh, yeah we're going on here uh, and talking about the brady violations and egre uh, egregious uh, intentional misconduct and the free cat uh, pass for the prosecution that is also known as uh, the role of the advocate talking about uh, fairness and justice and uh in a world of of that, that we're put into um now the Bundys, they they spent um, many many years out there and generations in the area, uh, that region, and uh, trying to make a living. And, uh, and along comes government agencies that have uh, decided that um, no, things are going to be different now. Uh, and and it came down uh, after about 20 years of uh, Cliven saying, no, I'm not going to pay uh, any more management fees for you to manage me out of business to the BLM. So what they do. Uh, here comes Dan Love. Uh, it's a militarized unit uh, within the Department of Interior. Also, the uh, National Forest Service, they came. They had, uh, I mean, an army, 200 uh, tactical agents, at least there, to uh, make sure that they could uh, round up these cattle. Now, what they had uh, uh, from the BAU, which is the Behavioral Analysis Unit, uh, had done some uh, analysis of whether the Mondays would be uh, uh, violent, how they would respond to this uh, cattle gather. And uh, the FBI determined that uh, they weren't uh, any threat. Now, that information was uh, uh, restricted from, uh, it was not given over by prosecution to the uh, to the defense in the Bundy et al. case in Las Vegas this uh, past year. Um, that ended in, in a mistrial, which was then dismissed with prejudice by uh, Judge Gloria Navarro. Uh, for the fact that the uh, prosecution had not turned over exculpatory evidence, uh, whereas uh, Ryan Bundy argued that they were under surveillance, surrounded by snipers, uh, uh, armed uh, uh, on their their home with uh, with you know snipers pointing their laser uh, dots on the family members, kids included. Uh, they had the listening devices. All of this was denied uh, by the prosecution, and finally. Uh, along comes uh, this one lady at the, uh, uh, and I can't call her name right now, but anyway, she did reveal that uh, there was uh, surveillance, there were cameras that uh, they were receiving feed, and it was denied that any of this was ever uh, recorded or that it ev even existed. So this was denied, uh, which is uh, Brady, a Brady violation, and also Giglio violations now. Uh, the Brady violation, it, it, uh, it stems from a case from 1963 where uh, a, a fellow was charged with murder. Uh, he, was, he was guilty. He was long there. But uh, the uh, prosecution turned over uh, four out of five confessions by the uh, culprit. And the fifth one said that he was the one that did the uh, actual uh, strangulation and, and murder of the guy. And they were trying the other guy here, this Brady, uh, Brady on um, uh, murder charges. So whether or not that evidence would have uh, uh, changed the verdict of a guilty to an answer, but anyways, he was uh, uh, denied that. So that's what you have uh, in the case of a great many uh, cases now, federal, especially since, um, well, for, for many years now, even prior to 2014, this was the uh, commonplace of uh, prosecution uh, and you get away with what you get away with as a prosecutor. And if you get caught, then, uh, Hey, it's all fair dinkum, uh, quote that in quotes anyways, um, fair trade. Uh, it's, it's what's good for you. You can use that also. Uh, um, yeah, but where do you get a weird word like dinkum you dork? Well, it was uh, it was in a uh, a video. I listened to several on on the Brady. Listened to uh, judges and lawyers and um, all kinds of panels of professional people speaking on this. Uh, 
and and how this uh, sets up for uh, prosecutorial misconduct as a norm um, or when you're setting mandatory minimums and the uh, the win at all cost and you can get away with it and like I said if they get caught uh, there's there's nothing that occurs uh, to them so let me uh, let me go hit this previous uh, comments here so this is a this is a video called uh, prosecutors run amok and I made uh, several notations through and uh, cited their time there so I just kind of clipped it out and put it into the comments over here uh, one of our RLO uh, postings realliberty.org uh, social media site small little upcoming place here we'll hope to grow and uh, continue fight you over RealLiberty.org, uh, adjudicated uh, civil and administrative matters versus uh, prosecution in a broad, generalized regulatory schemes by Congress. And uh, they're now they're talking more specifically towards Enron and Toyota. I think Toyota was specific at that point here, but also um, it, it is a federal overreach, and and this is something that needs to be looked at. Um, we. Further into the video, we see uh, dismiss uh, indictments for failure to prove the crime and a description in that. Um, uh, so ethical corruption, it's a cadre of uh, prosecutors. And here's where I came up with this uh, uh, fair dinkum a little past that in the same video. They <clears throat> they talk about uh, dinkum. Um, and, and I took that from the dings that uh, take it or leave it. Okay. Uh, well, it was just a very strange word to hear. Out of nowhere. Uh, Sorry, Your yeah. Majesty. It's Ooh. an Australian uh, term, dinkum. That's the part I was trying to get to because you know why? Why? Because somebody said that on an airplane and the stupid people yeah. on the airplane had that. That's cussing. Yeah. Wow. If you don't even know what it is, how do you give it a title? What kind because of ignorant I'm the one who gave you that link out? over there on it. Oh, was that you? Uh, yeah. Oh. Why? Did you not think I knew what I was talking about? I <laughs> know. Uh, I I just didn't really care. I just thought, wow, that <clears> sounded <throat> familiar, and that's where yeah. I heard it from. Yeah, it's I read it hard. on the. Yeah, I read hard. it on the internet. It's <clears throat> gotta be true. It's hard, hard to get well, anything past no, you. Hey, so untainted assets. Okay. No, right. Now that yeah. brings up my point to my first rule of my unfuck the world program, because if. There's doubt about the truth, even if it is true, then that's why it makes things work the way it does. Because okay. the way well, stand by and and listen, let me go further into this. Okay? Oh, you're gonna so, go to Bundy again? Oh, okay. No, oh, right. I'm going to where how this law affects us, and uh, you okay. know, it's on point. And the yeah. the prosecution is supposed to have. Uh, where did I call them? Uh, uh, advocates, there's this further down. Um, advocates, maybe up the top. Ah, uh, yeah, I got your advocate hanging. <laughs> uh, okay, so they have an obligation. They're supposed to the prosecution to be beyond fair, right? Beyond this fair dinkum uh, that they provide. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that they provide any kind of information that it would be detrimental. Uh, as one lady pointed out in one video, it's not like uh, football. It's not like uh, uh, a uh, you know, in the in the, uh, the the scouts went out and found out that this and that, and so you got to tell the 49ers about the Pittsburgh Steelers. Uh, you know, right? You, there's that's not fair trade, you know. But in law, they're supposed to be fair, but it's not. We we know that, right? So the prosecution has an obligation to turn over any type of evidence that would uh, be uh, detrimental towards their, their own case. And, then, and before that even uh, comes down to this uh, supposed to be core belief of the bar that uh, to seek truth and justice. But that is that's lost. It's gone into this uh, very unfair game of uh, anything goes and take it or leave it. They stack charges. Uh, where, where it, you know, you're looking at a multi-lifetime sentence unless you plead out, and then you might get like Jerry Delimus, um eight years, have to do six some odd years, 
uh, or possibly face the rest of his uh, life in prison. So he took a plea. Now, what we have here is the dismissal with prejudice of tier one and tier two. So they broke in the, uh, into three groups of uh, culpability um, people that were involved that they charged as uh, co-conspirators in this Bundy Grant standoff, they claim. And so the people in uh, tier two went first. Uh, they, Greg Burleson convicted uh, 68 years for uh, just saying things yeah. on Facebook yeah. to these uh, undercover guys, yeah. things that he would have done, not what he did do. And these guys, they, they, they're still they there. You. Who, yeah, they did, didn't they? Well, yeah, whatever you see in the fucking movies is what's coming to your society. And they, they brainwash and train the public to believe this crap. This is not real. And the justice system, the justice system actually enforces it. Well, I've and, warned you. I've warned people to guard your words. That's Right, but that's what the truth of it is. It's not about what you do. What you do is... Bunch, that's so small. Boasting is it's kind of like not telling the truth, right? To boast. Yeah, bragging. Yeah, yeah. So then sure. they, they take those words and they've held them against a lot of people just for their uh, Todd Engel. For his, uh, he's, he's got uh, many years left too, too, for words he said on Facebook. Wow. Wow. Well, you know, hmm. I don't know. There's something about the signature, the printed word. Not, not this crap we do on the Internet. We were, this was expected. This is even welcome because uh, it's such a, an unpopular way to look at life outside of the state, you know. If you go against the system, period, no matter how you do it, you're always going to suffer 90% of resistance out of, the, out of 10. Nine out of 10 people will just outright call you stupid or name, some kind of name, you know. Oh, you're, and then there's that one out of ten well last week i think i mentioned there's a guy over on bit um bit what's it uh bit shoot bit shoot and his name is jerry and he makes videos he lo he's in love with the camera and he's got some real good ideas and then he's got some ideas that in my my mind are questionable but if you're going to get something done that would be the way to start it you know and he's that serious about it He's against chemtrailing. And so am I. From my experience with other people that have physical problems from it, yeah. And there's enough people that have complained about it that I believe it's true. Because I know the people, I know some of these people nose to nose. So it kind of gives their, their version of what happened a, a credibility that reading it on the internet doesn't. Why do you think... Uh they would have started such a program as uh, Kim Jong. Oh man, there's a million reasons why, but it all boils down to is some form of controlling the human population. You think that wouldn't just be a result? <clears throat> kind of a, uh, yeah. Just add in. Let's uh, take advantage of something that we're having to do. Yeah. Well, what? See, if you go against drinking fluoride in your water, right? Because at one point in time, they just only had ways to dump it into the water. Now they've got ways to dump it into the soil. So, so what's the difference between a contrail and a chemtrail? One's condensation and the other one they're spraying us like bugs with. It's all nucleation in a sense, though, right? I don't know how to define it down in that kind of scientific of, yeah. jargon. It's how, how, cl how clouds are formed is by uh, uh, nuclear... Uh, Look, nucleation and particles and okay if if you're part of the crowd that needs a diagrammed instruction booklet <laughs> to show you that something is wrong with what you're seeing it's not right it shouldn't <laughs> exist period and you you need to be explained to about why after that you're the one that's got the problem no no yeah no, yeah, I, yeah yeah I it's not three. fucking natural in any fucking way that Wait I look at it, Hold on. I'm not done yet. Don't, don't be cussing me. You're, you're not, oh, 
Yeah. Cursing you. Okay. Yeah. Hey, your well, listen, you just said Wait, I was wrong. No, people yeah, need to there's... Need to understand just because you what? say something, don't make it so. It's my you way. You'll be able to understand. I don't got to understand anything, Mr. Vincent. Yeah. I'm telling you what I saw, not what I think. Well, See, there's a difference between there's, that, too. There's where you lose the translation. I don't care, because I've seen blue skies here, and I've seen trails of shit in the fucking sky here. Yeah, and I've seen the results People of... People would have to understand the difference hmm. of uh, what it is up there. Why in do the they sky. have to under? Why? For because what? Because then it makes sense it, of something. Look, here's how simple this fucking thing is to me. It doesn't belong in the sky. End of story. I don't care what, what, what you if, put up there. It doesn't it belong there. Be now. What if the things are, what? were messed up? <laughs> what if they shot up too many nuclear missiles into the uh, up in the sky, way up and high? And do what? What are they going to do? Spheres. Yeah. Atmosphere, atmosphere. Oh, right. Like they shattered some kind of atmosphere or something well, with a oh, weapon. Well, broke stuff, you know? <laughs> I don't the know. The ozone layer they're calling it. <laughs> Well, I, there, I, I, la I laugh. I laugh now remedy trying to remedy the problem. What if I they laugh. stop spraying <laughs> the sky? What would happen? Would there be any clouds? Oh my! Thank you, sir. Uh -huh. um, of course, there would be clouds. There just wouldn't <clears throat> be the bullshit clouds that they spray. They'd be the normal ones from the weather. Well, it's something that we can observe. Okay, so let's go back to let's keep this simple. Yeah. <laughs> when you <laughs> see spray coming, yeah. or uh, what? Some stuff coming out behind a airplane, a jet engine. Yeah, yeah. It's causing a condensation. <laughs> ow, ow, ow. Chemtrails dissipate, you made butt nugget. Chemtrails yourself. I was trying not to, but uh, chemtrails don't, they don't dissipate. They spread. And contrails, they dissipate and they evaporate back into the sky. They're two different planes. And I've seen both. I'm not talking about what I think. I'm talking about what I saw. And I live in a nice, clean place, so it's so obvious when they spray us like bugs that what they're putting on the, what they're putting in the air doesn't belong in the air. Or they wouldn't have to take it up to it with a plane. Hey, it's a just circle obvious. Listening? I don't. I think Cirque just went somewhere. Just passed me a minute ago. She was, was bringing me a present on the radio. What are you going to tell her? I'll tell oh, her for you. Yeah, I took part in a little uh, writing. Yeah. Thing. Well, so wait, so you disagree with me that it's this simple? This is how simple of a person I am, Vinny, not the rest of you people. I, I understand. You're I'm simple. just looking at if you have to build a plane and to put it in the up in the <laughs> air so it can come back down to me, <clears throat> it doesn't belong there in the first place. And at that level, I'm already against whatever it is. I well, know. I'm not saying one way or another. I'm just saying, there, what if it's mitigation oh. to something that has might. happened? Mm -hmm. uh, if it was mitigation to some major problem that the general public didn't have an understanding See, of. See, I take all this stuff so much further than you do, Vinny. It's all wrong. <laughs> I'm just I, being simple. I've see, taken it from one end to another. Okay, way. right. But and, and I, to go I look that, to to, re, to duplicate the research that I did, uh, that hmm. information is no longer yeah, available. What kind of information? The information on uh, the the totality of what's going on. The uh, the studies. The uh, um, huh, studies. Yeah, that you know these these projects that they're doing that you know the the uh, geoengineering the uh, weather manipulation is is a fact it is going on, and, uh, and it, is, it is denied. Well, okay, of course they're going to deny it, but I got I can see they're doing it. Wow. How, okay, you know <laughs> so I, you I've aren't been, supposed to know. I've been around for fifty nine years. I think I saw. It you're not around. Time. You're a square, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> You butt nugget. <laughs> it's insidious. Well, I know moose, but I tried to cover the mic. I thought that would work. Next time, I, uh, now I know that if I just move it all the way around or hit my mute button. How's I my cough? Well, I I got to go all the way back to wire to hit uh, a mute button. So, oh, I guess I, I, I do got this. I forgot. Yeah, oh, oh, yeah I got that, that works. Yeah, whatever that was. It, what Can you hear? Wait, I'm going to turn it off. Can you hear me? No, 
it turns you off. Oh, see, it didn't work before. Now, Vinny has an off button, everybody. Okay. Am I back on? <laughs> yeah. yeah. You're uh, on. Yeah, yeah. Hey, yeah. let me uh, let me share this out uh, for Circle. So hmm. this is uh, this is somebody I followed over on Twitter. Uh, it's uh, Christopher and Gina Maselli. Okay. Well, hold on, because uh, I'm getting chat back from Dort Cakes and Moose Girl, right? All right, well, and, let's go back and address and they're, that. And they're talking about what I said, how simple this is to me, okay? And to that, Dork's Cake says, a primitive tribe knows it ain't right. And under that, Moose Girl says, yes, comma, it's insanity and we are not supposed to notice. Okay, because, yeah, you're in the modern age and flight and all this technology and this, that, and the other. But look at all the crap they do using the same stuff. It's they don't even have to make a weapon. They just use the shit that's good for you against you now. And I think that if you know everybody else, well, I, you're in Denmark. How'd you get there? I flew here. But that's just another thing to show you that some things that would never have happened ever happen because of the availability of all these uh, tech, high tech extravaganzas we got, travel and plans and whatnot right but people were doing the same thing hundreds of years ago too so it's not like it couldn't happen it just happened at a pace that's uh, phenomenal because we live in the electronic world and we don't really i know it because i lived in both i lived half my life out of the electronic world and then half of my life in it because I was around when it was starting off, but it didn't oh, care. No, no, there you go with being around again, you square. Don't get in my face. I have to <laughs> knock you down. Hey. Yeah, I, I was no. Oh, I didn't even get a. Hey, I didn't even get a cell phone until the late nineties. I didn't really want people to be able to find me at their whim. I thought, wait a minute, you know, because if I was say had an argument with my uh, friend and I wanted to get away from her. So I'd go down to the bar and I'd sit and then phone would ring and they'd go, are you here? And tell me who it was. And then I'd say, no, I'm not here. <laughs> or yeah, I'd take the call. But to have to have to be a fucking responsible for being answering the phone. Uh, are you? Well, you talk about that's an indictment right there. I don't want no part of that. You're you're pleading guilty without even being charged anything. <laughs> I said, I don't like it. I want the warrant. <laughs> you can dodge a warrant. You know what I mean? Ah, uh, Johnny, <laughs> you're not playing back. Ah, uh, you must be ignoring me. Do I have myself muted? <laughs> I could only hope. <laughs> uh. I was having fun with the league. Hey, I was having fun with the legal structure. Okay, because through my own personal experience, right, no matter what the circumstances you're in, when you have the cops arrest you for something, whether you did it or not, and I've been arrested for something I didn't do because it was mine. <laughs> I got a, I got arrested for stealing my own watch, but the charge was it was somebody else's, but it was mine. <laughs> it's too ridiculous to believe. But this is how desperate are, the cops are to fill their jails. They don't care. And the wristwatch that doesn't belong to... Yeah, whatever. Yeah. Well, I don't know. I could probably think of some shit and get on a phone and cause somebody else trouble with it if I wanted to. But it's kind of chicken shit and petty, so I don't, I don't participate. But I do know that it's available for my entertainment if I should choose to. All right, let me test this mic. Uh, no, tell me, don't test I'm going to shut it off, Tommy, if you can hear me. <laughs> oh, how I mean it, Moose, is in 59 years, you're bound to learn a thing or two. And not only did I learn a thing or two, but I actually survived the first 30 years, right, without becoming a statist. A Republican, a Democrat, a communist, um, a Nazi, I don't know. You know, whatever the choices were to make, I didn't make any of the, those things, I just avoided them. 
they didn't interest me. The income tax thing, I found out when I was in my 20s that if you don't apply to them, it doesn't apply to you. Just exempt yourself. If any paperwork comes through, just sign, write exempt on it. They'll accept that. And I went, oh, no way. Just like being a, a commission salesman doesn't change. And the, the beauty of the way that my business life worked out was the the details of working for Ford. I was never really a, a full-blown union member. I was protected by the union to a degree, but on paper, I was a part-time employee. I only worked three days a week. But I, I worked at union hours wage with uh, their overtime laws applied to me, even though I wasn't working on, uh, like I'd work 10 hours on Monday, 10 hour, hours on f um, Friday, and I'd go in on Saturday and do an eight hour shift. But eight hours was time and a half after eight hours. So all day Saturday was time and a half, but I only worked the three days. It was, it was, a, a just a racket the union came up with and it worked for me, but they were making plans to shut the plant down anyway. So the whole thing was just insane. The Ford Motor Company took care of its employees when I worked there, is what I'm trying to get across. You need a bridge, buddy. Mm. Hey, let me uh, let me go back. Do I so, need a bridge? Listen, perfect time and top of the hour. I want to uh, buy a bridge. Writing prompt. Yeah, I was talking about Christopher and Gina uh, mm. Maselli. And writing momentum. So I, I took part in a little short um, experiment. And outside the uh, scope of... Uh, the writer sphere that I'm, uh, I would call myself Writer's, comfortable. Writer sphere. Yeah. <laughs> That's I, clever. Yeah, I like that. <laughs> oh, I just made it up on the spot. So. I know. It's good. <laughs> so let's write a short story. Add to the story with your com comment. We'll start. <clears throat> As she watched the fire devour the mansion, Holly could only think that day. The day she met him. The day that changed everything. Oh, that uh, everything changed. So there was, uh, I think I was mm, fifth or sixth in line. Uh -huh. People wrote a paragraph and along the way. I, I'll I'll just copy the uh, uh, the uh, link to the uh -huh. to the to the tweet and bring it back. But I I ended with uh, stop. No, uh -huh. she couldn't. This was the time she dreamed of. All that had been lost melted away. She found no hope and strength in the arms of a lo of the love she always knew was real okay i got something for you Mr. <laughs> uh yeah it's not but I, I just thought i should make myself uncomfortable and try to write. oh okay writer guy uh do you think that trust leads to understanding Mm, it happens. Or do you think you just kind? Do you think you always understand everything that you see, or do you sometimes have to have something explained or defined, or you know, shown to you from a different, sh you know, different angle to understand what you're looking at? Always. Okay, there you go. So, if you trust the person that's telling you the answer that you're trying to get, does that lead you to the understanding or? Are you just listening to anybody that'll tell you, and you don't care if you trust them or not? Yeah, I'll listen to uh, about anybody, whether I trust them or not. And I think that's most important to, uh, if not start there, at least uh, work your way through that. You know, that way you can have a, a good, fair look at what it is you think you know. You want to be able to try to, uh, you know, in science, you want to disprove, right? True try to disprove this theory or whatever. That's what I thought. The, yeah, that's the original meaning of it was now it's proving that you're right or some. They've just mangled the fucking... The words are just garbage now. Don't don't play. Stay out of it. But what what I was saying is, so you go... You you start out way before the, the question then and you have a, a, a step to it that I didn't. But when I trust something, then I listen to the you know, whatever results I get, then I'm usually end up understanding it because I trusted the person I was listening to. It's because you're believing what they're telling you. And if you're being led down the wrong road, in the long run, somewhere down the road, it shows itself. And it's not always black and white. 
You're black and yes. white, buddy. I'd I'd like to be. Hey, did you did you know I started my own my own show, private solo? Me, yeah, all my, I just, I was listening to it and then I had to go. Would you? Uh, but check it out. It, it I did. Uh, I had gotten involved with Grim. Show me how to do this damn up. Changing the shows and all that crap he was stuck doing with, and the production side of it. So now I'm learning how much you know it takes to put the thing together. It's not like tons of stuff, but it's a little bit of knowledge, you know, that I didn't have, and I didn't think I was interested in it. But now that I'm doing this thing and taking it seriously, because I wasn't even playing games on Thursday night. I really did a real a real show for a change, right? And man i thought it was pretty good <laughs> slapping myself on the back <laughs> good for you oh here was uh, this this was the paragraph before that i wrote mine too. what oh you're still this, writing yeah yeah well she, i got uh, so this yeah, is I, a, the, mm, yeah, I got the idea from grim to do that good for you i heard yeah uh yeah because there was yeah. no thursday night show yeah but grim's doing a monday night show right but we've had these freaking holidays, so I'm all screwed up. Uh huh. It's going to be New Year's Eve next week. I know, and the fourth is a, a week from yesterday, and I start well, uh, the very first episode. Oh yeah. Well, mm -hmm. let's pitch your show then. <laughs> well, the I'm fourth? not ready to. Okay. Oh, yeah. then how can you start it on the fourth? Because I uh, no, I'm not ready to pitch it. Are you magic? I'll, I'll are, talk about. Oh, it. oh, oh, oh. Yeah. Are you so I will. I'll, here's the uh, here's the one in series that I wrote, and yeah. I took off where they uh, took took up where they left off. You can read it. Read it in chat. Let me see how you read uh, that. Oh, from yeah, and from then read my thought, yes, right there. She thought to herself, or the other. Yeah, one. start there, and then after you okay. finish that, then go up to the one above it. There's no way he belongs here. He must shrugging away her thoughts she approached him something she'd never done before and never thought she'd ever do she remembers hearing the thud of her heart beating out of her chest stop just stop stop <laughs> am i reading that no part? she couldn't <laughs> this is the time she dreamed of all that had been lost melted away she found wow. new hope and strength in the arms of the love she always knew was real. Okay, and what was the point of that again? Oh, this was a this was like a step series of writing a short story. Uh, everybody oh. took a little uh, paragraph and followed up from the next one. Oh, so this yeah, is, yeah, This yeah, was yeah, a, yeah. a writing um, exercise. Yeah. yeah, but I was asking you a really deep, important question <laughs> before that. Oh, uh, God. What was yeah. it? Well, just trust leads you to understanding because there's things in life that, did you know that I don't give two shits if I understand them or not? Quote. Don't care one way or the other. Let's try a squote for this one. Just What's for a squote? Well, in the in chat. S hey, Q. -E. Q what? Uh, trust but verify. The what? only Q I know is Miss Kate. Yeah, there's Miss Kate in the chat room. Ha, 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 ha. Let's see what it says. Trust but verify. <clears throat> yeah. Yo. Is it going to give us this quote? I don't think so. I have so. no idea. You Maybe there's no the quote in the there. database for that. Who said uh, that? Ronald Reagan said that. I think it was oh, did he? Two, three yeah. or something like that. Yeah. It's Ronald Reagan. Reagan. Yeah. Trust Lucky. but verify. That's that's my response to you. How could I say it any better? If I even was, a broken if, clock is right twice a day. If I was, even if I were the paraphrased plagiarist that I am. Could I say it any better? I don't know. Could you? Then mm. the Ronald, the Ronald of Reagan Ronnie, said it so Ronnie good. Reagan. Ah, Ronnie Reagan. Ronnie Reagan. Pew, 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 pew. And the space shippers. Yeah, he was the first eight years of uh, uh, George uh, Herbert Walker Bush the first. Yeah, he was the VP then. He was the California No, he governor. was running things. Everybody thought he was a little timid mouse. Reagan? No, Bush. Oh. Bush. Remember everybody George. thought he was a wimp. Fuck, really? He was the the big shot at the CIA. Was, no, that was his father, wasn't it? Yeah, George. No way, no George. No, he was it was George Herbert Walker. Not uh, he was the or, CIA not, fucker. Not George W. 
Uh, well, they both looked a little swishy to me, but, you know, uh, what can I tell you? GW, okay. I don't know. You figure it out. It's not even my argument. Boy, I don't even care. You better not never come down to Texas, I've, I'm going to tell you. I've been to Texas. So you ain't coming well. back. No, that's true. No, I'm not coming back. You lucky Texans, you. You ain't never been horse whipped, have you? No. Why would I be? What kind of what kind of weirdos do you hang out with again? <laughs> Jeez, have I ever been horse whipped? <sighs> hey, that's good water. You want to you want to make some money on the side? <coughs> I, no. I I'm gonna <coughs> offer you a business opportunity here. Shut up. And, and I think you, sir. Mr. Vincenzo would be perfect as a fear-mongering, money-making guy. Like like Alex Jones, only different. But yeah, be a fear-monger. Get followers. Why? Why would I do something? Be somebody. I don't for the for the fast cars and the chicks and the money, you oh, dumbass. I ain't all that. <laughs> Hey, you know, the sad part is I believe you. <laughs> I did all well, that when I was younger. Yeah, see, people grow up, and that's, I'll tell you, there's a lot of children out there that are 30 years old that never going to understand what we're talking about. Never going to happen. And they're going to breed the gun lover out of all the schools. <laughs> Public education in 20 more years, there won't be a kid that will even look at a gun because they're, uh, zero tolerance in, in school. <laughs> Stupid. <laughs> then they're going to have the military ones that are all about guns. So you're always going to have a, uh, this great big divide over guns when it's not worth the attention they pay to it. I don't care if you got a gun or not. I care if you point one at me, but uh, you can own all you want till you use it. Not much of a threat with a gun, except if you're behind the wall or something, maybe cross 20, you know, 20, 30 yards away. But at five feet, what good is a gun? What good indeed? Well, I'm just saying it. Realistically speaking, people watch too much television, man. They've seen too many movies. You know, and as tempting as it may look to point a gun at somebody and pull the trigger, it's a little harder to do it than it is to talk about it. <laughs> That's what I think. What do you think, Vincenzo? Oh, no. <laughs> are you a ar are you an armed marauder? No. Huh? Do you point loaded weapons at your fellow man uh, in, no. in the acquisition of their funds and stuff? <laughs> I'll bet. I was, I was over there where people were parking guys. Or, or do you do it the Jewish way and just charge them interest at a bank? Bank. Because, yeah, if that isn't theft of your freaking money, charging you money for money that doesn't exist, I don't know what I don't know what is a crime. If that ain't the biggest <laughs> crime we deal with every day, then what is? Hey, I ask you a question, you ignore me. Yeah, uh, I'm going to get a very mad like that guy in North Korea. And I'm going to bomb you. Yeah, I'm over here looking at <laughs> the notes that I don't have. Yeah, at the notes you don't have because you didn't save them before the, you got yeah. crashed. Can't, is that, can't is tell that me what, what you, to do. Oh, okay. But is that like being called a, uh, is that what you call a crash? Or yeah, I don't know what it was. It's mm. some blink. I don't like it, though. Oh, uh, Kate told you what to do in the future, but did yeah. she help you find the one you lost? Oh, no, that's gone. Uh, I thought they said that, no matter if you even tried to erase shit, that once it's on the internet, it's always on the well, internet. Or is that just a bunch of crap the NSA tells you to make you nervous? That was only on my computer, what, on the internet. Oh, well, that explains that, doesn't it? Yeah, work bad. Oh, well, I would make a lousy NSA spy because I, I really wouldn't know what to look for. Oh, well, there's and, probably and besides, some, all this Windows 10 business, you know, there are probably all kinds of backdoors that if you knew what channels to go through. Yeah, hey, buddy, could you uh, pull up the NSA file uh, on 1229, 2018, 12, uh, hmm. or 11, something, whatever. 
No, when you start talking full blown geek, I don't have a clue. <laughs> you no, thought that was geek? <laughs> You're retarded. Well, yeah. Well, maybe so because I didn't recognize two words of it, Mister. You didn't hey, understand the date. I was saying. 12, 29, 2018. No, I really not. I didn't yeah. follow what you were. No, I was completely. And I said 12 something, 11 something a.m. Yeah. No, you completely you lost are. me. When, hey, when there, you wait. Uh, I got it. Hold on. But you know what's yeah. weird is, uh, thank mm. you, uh, Kate, from uh, Cakes. Because I actually copied that. But when I copied this and put it over to uh, mm. the uh, WordPad, it was all like highlighted or something. Oh, is yeah. that a bad? I don't know, but I'm over here at New Document. Uh, uh, let's just uh, put that in there and see if it does again. I bet it does because I copied it out uh, of the chat. Yeah. Oh, hey. Yeah, it's a cakes. different font size, and it has like a highlight over it. Just like when I copied the uh, the uh, link for the Twitter. Uh, wow. Venom status. Welcome to Geek Chat at the Dork Table with your host, Vincenzo. <laughs> yeah. The, the, uh, Back to you, Vince. Show notes are going to be probably pretty short i wasn't planning to write a novel i posted what i'd written so far yeah i've still not unflunked your title i've got it at oh. a three-step plan no lies uh no killing grow him and yeah. so yeah uh, well well all i mean is cultivate you know if if you did it like you knew what you were doing and you had a plan and you had goals set as it probably should be instead of this happenstance market crap if you make so many how many can you sell that it's stupid the, the whole fucking thing is for a child you know society's built up to please a five-year-old having a fucking temper tantrum and if that's the society you want then wow i've got a grammar Go for issue. it have you sure i don't i don't let's i don't look know at what it. that means let's look at oh it. on your internet problem all right. Okay. Oh, we're doing a show about your internet problem. No, I don't. Want, I didn't think so. I went complete dork there and said something different. Where's the? Uh, <sighs> I don't know. Said to change that. Let me look at it. Now. Well, I'm going to petition. Mark. I'm going to petition the RLM to change the rules. Join me in my fight to change the rules. <laughs> Are you out of your mind? <laughs> my fight to change the rules. <laughs> like, why bother writing them down? If you break rules, you can't tell me you don't know you're breaking it just because you didn't see it written down. <laughs> and then the shit that they make up that you broke because, you know, seatbelt laws, crap like that that you don't agree with in the first fucking place. But because they got these damn guns and cages, they think that they can tell you to do it. <laughs> so it, it's a it's a battle of wills. And, and yeah, that's not freedom. That's totalitarianism at its finest. Telling me I got to strap myself into a 2,000-pound bomb <laughs> and be forced to have the exploding airbag thing, you know, from my face I can come out of it with at least a broken nose and need a new pair of glasses. <laughs> That'd be fun. I'd like to watch oh, it. Fucking hell. <laughs> hey, hey, y'all uh, lift your legs over there. You can't legs but over it's, here. It's, all, the, it's all this garbage that, that some fucking idiot designed to make oh. money. And then these lawmaker pricks found a way to force everybody to do it. And in the overall, it causes more fucking problems than it solves. But the sheep are just following the fucking carrot or whatever sheeps follow they don't they don't even pay attention to the shit that's okay with them <laughs> they just agree with it there's my notes see <laughs> they'll save lives you know like the government pays for the roads that kind of crap did you know that the roads are in some pretty bad shape if the government's taking yeah. care of them you know what? We had a real good rain here just uh, this last week, and uh, yeah. I was talking about roads. Uh, on the way down, passing the road that uh, that I still didn't go taking pictures of for you, that uh, I built. It's been uh, over. Yeah, it's been well over. Uh, it's been near a decade. I said, I'd say since uh, probably I, I last uh, did anything or that roads ever been touched. But anyways, on down towards my uh, friends, he just bought a place in the back and moved back there. Uh, his dad 
and he was using a pretty small trackle. Uh, mm. But he went out there and cut ditches, pulled up big old rocks, man. It's amazing what that little machine would do. And, uh, and banked the road and all this to where all the water would not, uh, you know, when it rained, washed the road out. And it took a lot of rain and didn't take any washing. But the uh, county came along and they were back there grading about the time he was finishing up his work. And he told, them, well, y'all better not drag off all that I just done, you know. So anyways, uh, just showing how to really make a road. Those guys just go in there and drag a blade across it. and uh, It washes out. And they come back the next time. You got to establish a base. You got to protect, protect your foundation. Right? Build it solid. That goes with any uh, of your information that you, you're trying to relay on uh, to somebody else. Got to have a good foundation, or else you just sound like a nutter. Right. Yeah. Are you a nutter? I would probably. Okay. Why? Well, all right. Well, good question. Let me uh, let me just move up. I'll be right back. Hold on. Yeah. Because Mr. Vincent was just losing his mind. He went to go get probably get a glass of something or whatnot. I don't know what to follow up on that one, but he came up with this three-step plan to unfunk the world. So we compromised. And, yeah, because it's not that hard to do. And I believe that anything that we're using right now that's made out of plastic, which is petroleum-based, all that crap can all be replaced with hemp. And then there's other things that would free up to use. But, uh, I don't know. Glass is kind of heavy, but I like glass. I'm a glass guy. Um, wood. But, see, there's so much wood wasted making shit that's, uh, you know, that we throw away because of <laughs> the purpose of making it. But if you made it, out of um, something else it would be cheaper to make it and it would be more durable than what we're using what kind of sense would that make this is a just in time big glass. Well, i realize yeah because yeah, exciting right the, use it up the throw it away boy what are you trying yeah, to do yeah well these people want profits and they want their profits to increase they're never fucking happy with what they get they always want more than they got so what well, what a world we're we live amongst a bunch of dumbasses, basically, that uh, instead of using logic and reason, hey, they use it's the greed 420 and stupidity. somewhere plus one. I don't care. You, That's you your problem. tell them I don't care if it's 420 plus one or not. Mm. But I do like my hemp idea, and I believe it. So well, and you every, better care, every, Mister. Everything oh, that we live with me. proves proves that this stuff is true this you know planned obsolescence society that we live in is just it's beyond ridiculous you're ridiculous thank you and what and what is your point mister <sighs> huh 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 you calling me names now are you yeah uh, i got aggression from a make believe enemy oh no help help vinny's attacking hey Maybe make a show about that one. Oh, yeah. I remember attacks. some of the notes I left that I lost. Yeah. Yeah, yeah Mr. Open Air Prison. Would you want to be a guard in this open air prison we call society? I am a guard. Are you? Yes. Have, have you lost the, fuck you? the press is on, oh, buddy. I oh, am on guard. Oh, oh, Think oh. I'm not on guard. So Listen, I've be... watched some videos where these, uh, where they show up. FBI and come over and talk to people that uh, doing things like I've been doing. But, yeah. So thankfully, I guess I'm not uh, a real big guy like they are, and uh, I don't I don't have the press on me so so badly. But I, I think uh, I think because I've uh, uh, attempted to uh, do right and go beyond uh, the the way a lot of people are responding. You know, being smart ass to the cops when they're filming them, that sort of thing. Uh, you, uh, this engagement that we're in, we got to be very careful. And like I say, guard your words. Uh, there's no such thing as a bad question. Um, and the 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 risiveness uh, that that uh, befalls us all is uh, is just played into by so many people, and, and I think we're missing a, a real 
key feature of this whole game plan that it's uh, all of us that uh, are in the actual press. So I press back and I give uh, media and want to look at it. Is that what we're doing here now? All right. So it, it's safe to say that on your end of all this that you're speaking of, that you've been dealing in an honest way. Yeah. You're not bending rules or telling stories. You're just repeating what you see, right? Yeah. Am I am I right so far? Re reporting. I, let's look at that word. So okay, I'm taking but, the port. What right? is it? It's like a port. You're bringing some uh, cargo uh, from one point to another. So right. I'm taking uh, and doing firsthand porting, and then also have done reporting. Uh, that is the events of others. Uh, also, right, but you're doing it from an a stand uh, an honest standpoint as opposed to being dishonest with people right. and trying so, to purposely lead them down a road because if they listen to you they'll get to where you want them to go no you're i'm not, not doing that no. you're telling people this is what happened and this is how it happened yeah, and this uh -huh. is why and, it happened and this yeah. would cut what could happen to you if sure you, uh, yeah. Yeah, if you follow that path because there's yeah. a lot of paths laid out there by people uh, uh -huh. Especially what is, you know, the misnomer of uh, sovereign citizenry. Uh, All right. Now, that's a big I, trap. That's a big how do trap. I do that? How do I do that prediction thing on the RLM chat? Because I'm ready to predict. Do, type do like this. Look, I'll put you put that. And then uh, uh, I think, it, what is it? Prediction or predict? Yeah. Like this. Uh, What's here? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Ex okay exclamation mark predict i came up with a prediction for the next year that might not be right you might need prediction oh okay let me try that respond. well like that wait no i don't know yeah well i came up with here let you me gotta it type it in head. afterwards i would just predict oh. thank you oh no exclamation point yeah you gotta have okay. exclamation too right well, no, I didn't. You gotta have a command. Oh, uh, how There's do you do it forward, upside down? Is it forward slash? What is it, Moosey? Uh, I don't know. You ask, you're asking Moose, so there'll be a delay. Yeah. Anyway, uh, my prediction. Should I just say it? Say it and then type it in. Oh, the government will win. You think? Yeah, that's my prediction for 2019. The government. And I will just say it in three words. The government wins. There you go. That's my prediction for 2019. <clears throat> yeah, who is crazy enough with this citizen sovereign nonsense? Can't these people read a freaking dictionary and figure out what they are? <laughs> Jeez. You're not picking genders there, sport. I mean, it's freaking obvious here. <laughs> a citizen is a slave, and a sovereign owns the slave. <laughs> well, the, uh. the sovereign idea is that you're king of your castle, your domain. Uh, the sovereign owns all the other fucking doesn't slaves. doesn't mean that you're Give king. Break. That doesn't mean you reign and rule over others. In this life, that's it the way. Oh, yeah. None others reign and rule over you. Then you tell me why there's fluoride in the water if there's no king. Because that's good for you. Fuck you. <laughs> there you go. Predict. What do I look like? Some kind of retard? You know? There's your... Yeah. Hey, wait. Respond to that. Win what? <laughs> Moosey wants what? to know what the government's going to win. And put your prediction in, bonehead. Everything. But Wins, type, type okay, it in. Four words and everything. Yeah. All right. How do I get that? Exclamation thing? Prediction. point predict. Type that first. Oh, okay. Exclamation point predict. Skip type a that space. first. The government uh, wins. Type it in. Uh, Use capital letters. Oh, skip. No. Oh. No, only at the Oh, beginning. you do it all at once? Yeah, but okay. you got to skip a space. I or was too far ahead of you. you at that are the, All right, you're something else, Billy. The government wins everything. Has been typed oh. and almost entered. Here, exclamation point at the end of that fucker. There you go. Hey, what's... There's my prediction for 2019, ladies and gentlemen. Hey, no, you you messed it up, dude. 
You put I... four words. You said three. Well, Moose pushed it to four. I don't want to be. I what? don't want to be contrary how over she, a word. How did she push it to four? By commenting, it was only three. I just assumed it wasn't long enough. You're retarded. <laughs> <laughs> she said it's a lame prediction. Yeah, you're that's, lame. Oh well, that's okay. I don't think much. Try of again. Wait a minute. Hold on. We're gonna let you try this again. I don't know if you can remove that. Yeah, he did it. Let's no, see. I did it. That's it. Try another one. Get get serious. No, I got it. Get serious. That was, that's as serious as you're going to get out of me. No. Don't why tell so, me what to do. Why so serious? Because you can't I you can't tell me what to do. <laughs> Just tell me what to do cuz you feel like I it. can do. <laughs> show it. me. A, I did show, it. <laughs> show me a warrant. I'll warrant you. See, yeah, threats. Ah, more words. Blah, 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 blah. Oh, come on. Yeah, I. but that just goes to show my optimism there, Moose, is that the government will win because there's too many lames that support it. They do not, they do not realize that there's more evil connected to this crap than there is not evil, whatever evil may be. You know, you're in the negative. It's not a good thing. It's very, very wrong. Bombing other places into rubble to destroy their history as a punishment, you know, that's going too far. Killing civilian populations off. Taking thriving fucking populations and d just destroying them and making shitholes out of them because you didn't like the, what they were doing. And and lying to the public and the people that support your government about it so you could get away with it. And that's what I don't want to be American anymore. I, you have it. You think that that's not being participated by everybody around I, the world? You think I that think you can accept yourself by yeah, being in Denmark? Yeah. You can't. You're still no, part of it. Shh, yeah, you are. Quiet, quiet, quiet. Don't, shh, shh, shh. don't ruin my, my illusion. Uh -huh. No, if I... I hold Denmark just as responsible as America, but I don't participate in their government. I'm just a guest here. It's way different. The responsibility is so minimal. Ha, ha, ha. You know, I'm not part of their thing, but back home I'm part of the thing. You think in I'm America, part of the thing? Well, you, in in a way, because in you better society, believe I'm part of it. You, you have to pick a side. There's two sides. I choose and, the side of peace and what's right. Right. And the other side is the side that's got all the lies and shit attached to it that that misrepresent it to acquire the, the support it gets. If people knew the truth, they wouldn't be for it. So they got to be told a good lie to sustain the, the shit that actually happens. But we don't talk about that on the dork table very often. No, 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 no. But part of my three steps, if you stop killing people, period, nobody had to be murdered by anybody for any reason at all. What if that was just the natural way we thought instead of this violence and punishment that they feed us in the, you know, you think, the media uh, and TV? What? You think if government went away, then suddenly everybody would have some act right about them? Do what was uh, right and good. For the most part, yeah. No. Peer pressure, peer pressure no. would be one way or the other. You need you, to form a gang. You're, and kill you're leaving else. off the uh, the nature. You're of not man. letting me fucking answer. Well, let me finish a fucking question. Don't cuss me, boy. Well, you're damn. you're being just bad. You're telling me I'm bad. You, I was Naughty. in the middle of a sentence, and you start telling me I didn't Shh. have a. Calm. Calm. <laughs> Go away. Oh. Get, sit down. Smoke. Listen, joint, listen. Man. Get your vibrational frequency oh. right. Man, <laughs> isn't it amazing when you're in that vibration and things just oh. fall into place? Listen, I was talking to my cousin in Vegas the other day, and I say yeah. to him, I said, hey, how's Patty? And he goes, uh, she's pulling up in the driveway right now. Just for instance, after for instance, and stuff like that, it lets you know that you're tuned right so yeah we've got to yeah. calm you down yeah. because we don't want to no. get all crazy out here right don't don't tell listen, me listen like, mister you're not the boss of me <laughs> oh. 
<laughs> Listen, feel it, feel it, feel it. Ah, You're deep inside. Ah, breathe it in. <laughs> hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it. <laughs> it's nice, right? Yeah. Well, you know what? To break down the us and them thing, there's another faction to the us and them, and there's the individual. And the individual isn't really a part of anything. They're just part of the whole thing. But don't care for the sides. That's the way I see it. I don't I don't think I would suffer if the two sides didn't exist. It would probably be better for everybody. If we all just had the, the truth to work with from the beginning instead of all these deceptions. We do have the truth, right? No, No, we don't. Are you out of your freaking well, mind? Well, let's go back to what we was talking about. I think this probably came on before we actually went to air uh, yeah. about the truth. What, what lies? You said. What about lies? They have to be propped up. Tell, tell me. Let's go right back to where we started at before the beginning. Well, yeah, you have to. You have to constantly harp on something that's not true. A lot. You, you said make, you said that you had to keep them propped up. You had to build them and maintain them and all this. Yeah, that that's what I'm into saying. The maintenance. Yeah, yeah. You got to constantly be saying that lie all the time. So until it's common, and then once it's common, then whether it's true or not doesn't matter. Everybody's heard it to the point of shut up. Then you know they've accepted it. And what about truth? Code. Truth is How, evident, right? And doesn't it's, matter. No, it's not truth. Truth is elusive. The lies are the fucking things that are evident. Well, then, Truth then you've is... got to focus. See, now let me tell you a little story about counterfeits, right? Uh, what do they teach people in the banks to look for? Do they teach them to uh, give them all this counterfeit money to look at so they can know counterfeit money? No, they train with the real thing. So when they see the counterfeit, it stands out. Yeah. So in, yeah. Instead of the, the search of... Uh, in this, these lies seek the truth, right? Then the lies stand out. So that's because that's my problem is that there, our standard as a fucking society is that we tolerate people lying to us so that they can sell products. It's okay as long as the colors are pretty. Have a Coke. <laughs> you don't understand my side of this at all? Sure. Okay, maybe you disagree. What? Well, you just got to cut through it, right? Well, if we were told the truth, here, have have one of these. This you, is what it's made out of. Well, you're expecting somebody to tell you the truth. Then. No, 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 no. <clears throat> right, well. That's no, not a mis- good ex- you're, expectation. You're, no, you're misunderstanding the whole fucking point then. If Wait we a minute. weren't Wait taught a minute. Go to, to lie. Calm. Go back to the calm. Yeah, if we weren't taught to lie, we wouldn't. It, lying is taught to us, not truth. Truth is what you do. Lying is what you learn to manipulate. Have you ever looked at the uh, the development of a child and they're learning to lie, or or uh, is it uh, something that's already in there? No, it's probably peer pressure and development. You don't all think the changes. A, you don't think there's deception that is uh, no, no, it's just right that uh, resides no. in people. No, reality isn't even a guarantee with until you're about nine years old. I don't think that your brain is developed enough. I look back at my past, right? Wow, I got them. And, you know, Santa Claus and the Easter Bunny and crap like that, I think I believed that stuff until I was about eight or nine, something like where I paid attention to what the hell are they talking Not about? Not talking about lies to you, but you, you as a child. It's a little bitty baby in the crib. Yeah. Well, then I don't know what you mean. Where did you grow up? Did did you learn to lie, or did you have the ability to lie as a trait already inside of you? Is it is it the no, nature? I think, in other words, no, I don't the lie. No, I don't think it's the nature. I think you learn it in bigger groups for better ways of survival and you know getting acquiring and surviving. Lucy says she does not lie. She says I don't lie. Uh, yeah, because how do you now, sleep? Now, how do you sleep like that? <laughs> because because you're you an adult lie. maybe but there's also yeah, yeah. lying about shit you don't even know you're lying about people do that all the time and they don't know it it's it's a common thing 
If you if you believe that the Americans went to the moon in 1969 and you believe at that, you're just believing a story. It doesn't make you a liar. It makes your information the lie. So to me, if you're just repeating something you can't prove one way or the other, then, well, you're not really lying, but you're not telling me the truth either. You know, because if you, I don't think, if say that you, Vincent, believe that the United States went to the moon in 1969, then I would say to you, well, okay, if that's what you believe, that's cool, but I think you're crazy and this is why. But I would never deny you the ability to choose that. You know, or not the ability, the choice. You know, if that's what you really want to believe, but all the evidence points here, okay, that's what you believe. It doesn't matter. When you're believing, it's not what you believe that matters. It's what you do about what you believe that matters. I watched a pretty good video huh. on uh, the moon thing. Uh, right, but what I, I mean is... I, I, in the words in there, they're saying, like the one guy, you've probably seen it, the guy says, uh, you know, we have this problem that we have to go through, the Van Allen radiation belt. Yeah. Then uh, talking about the materials made of, you know, the, the spacecraft is uh, in the lander was all made of. And being yeah. able to pass through these different, uh, uh, the different sections. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Makes you wonder why, you know, is it going to come out that they did it because, uh, they had to win the propaganda war and against Russia or what? Because it doesn't how, matter how what do you the train being able to do something to before and one NASA scientist said that the uh, that it ability and that information was lost and now they're trying to recreate it. It doesn't matter at all. <clears throat> Keep trying to tell you that. It doesn't matter. What matters is that the people reporting it keep telling you the same crap all over and over until you accept it. And be part of the herd, or you reject it and become part of the dork table. And that's just the way it is. There's no two ways about it. Well, that's <laughs> there's only two ways about this. There's the truth, whatever the fucking truth is, and there's the stories we get, which sometimes in the story is a little bit of truth, but the entire thing isn't true. So, based on that, is I get, <clears throat> what do you call it? Not angry, but... I'm disillusioned, disappointed. I think we could do way better than this, but it's well, all you, based on a bunch you've of You've made your so. prediction that the government wins everything. Yeah, everything. Yeah, I thought but 18 it, was going to end this. Uh, the government is it really the government? What is the government? Yeah, yeah, it's exactly. a pretty pretty big monster you're talking about. Pretty big beast. because they they enforce. You saw Waco. Hey, you saw what happens is when it you the go government? against... Who's, who's controlling these uh, forces within the uh, government, these uh, the... interaction a agencies? You know, when I when I was in Denver with uh, Bruce Doucette's trial up there, uh, Ryan English, uh, the uh, well, first of all, he's the uh, lead agent in charge, the special agent in charge of the FBI, uh, and the, this uh, task force they put up on uh, Bruce Doucette and... Uh, these other guys. Uh, so uh, what's, what's he tasked with? Hey, he's going in there. Uh, you know what, man? I uh, brain farted. What? Uh, what? I was going to set what? something up there and I forgot what I was going with. Sorry about that. <laughs> oh crap. <laughs> that happens. Yeah. I get brain, I get brain farts on the radio all the time, but, you just have to pull up your pants and start over. Again. I looked at something <laughs> and I forgot. Oh, I I announced back a few shows. I'm a theoretical narcissist. What do you think? Is that a nice play on words, Mister Words? I don't know if it is or not. Well, you, well, study theoretical the, narcissist. Yeah, yeah. I'm a theoretical narcissist. Like. <laughs> Ah, never mind. You, I thought you'd get it, but no. Redneck boy yeah, plays yeah, dumb on the I, you just You got to realize I was just recovering from a brain fart, you know. It's like a big oh, old hey. bubble went bloop. Yeah. Hey, is Grim out there on RLM listening? I Maybe he had to go do something. No, he's listening. Thanks thanks for the wire stuff. This The wire thing works more comfortably than the Skype. I don't know why. Maybe it's just all in my mind, but it seems like it's 
more better. <laughs> yeah. I, it's I, more I'm better like, for you. I like choir a lot better than Scott. <laughs> That's two of Hey, and we agreed mm-hmm. about it on the dork table. Go figure. We're not supposed to do that. You could get in trouble with my producer. <laughs> or not. Never mind. Are you reading Moosey? Me? Me reading Moose? Uh, Moose was just at throwing her two cents in on, on our perspective on the, the line. And I think it's... <laughs> oh, I, I remember. That... Wait, before I forget. I remember Ryan English and uh, the uh, corporation agencies that uh, do uh, contract with the U.S. government corporation. So these uh, these other agencies, the FBI uh, uh, and all the all the um, the alphabet soup agencies, uh, they they act as agents, and and they're not um, actual government, but they are perceived uh, as being government. There and there, there'd be more to go with that. Uh, Judge Anna Von, what's her name? Um, and she's talking about that, uh, and it was something I can find. Go ahead, let me go find that. Actually, I'm not. Oh, I don't yeah. ascribe to Judge Anna Von, what's her name, uh, at all. This uh, leans and, but she she was like had some odds with uh, Bruce Doucet, so pretty deep. In well, it. yeah. But no, I'm going to talk. I'm gonna go find this thing I was looking at. Yeah, but when when you guys go splitting hairs with your laws, this is the that's where you lose me. Something either is or it's not, and, and you're doing stories, and they come up with this crap about forensic sciences, and they they mislead you into believing that there's ways to prove. No matter how you see it, we see it better because we have better magnifying glass, and this identifies that. And, and it ends up that people get bribed to agree with things that weren't true so that John Smith can go to prison for killing Jane Doe. And whether it's one in a hundred or one in a thousand, it does happen. And they pitch this legal system to you in one respect. But if you ever get caught up in it, you'll find out what it truly is. It's a It's a money machine. You buy your way out or you don't get out. They control us in many ways. Perpetuating racism is one way, says Miss Moose. Yeah, we know that, Moose. But, eh, dorks, dorks are funny about race. We don't really care. I think a dork is more about whether you're an asshole or not. What race you are, you can be the whitest fucking white race on the planet. But if you're a dick, you can stay the hell away from me. I, I don't want to play that game. And I've... I've uh, smoked dope with um, Nazi. It's, it's no different. The the real people that exist in the groups that they're supposed to represent, there's the group that's real, and then there's the group that you read about, and the newspapers tell you shit that's not true. And this stuff you can prove by going out and meeting somebody that's accused of something, and then go have coffee with them and find out, being a Nazi ain't no damn different than being a Republican. It's just a fucking way of thinking. It's not physical. You're you're not hurting anybody with the way you think. You hurt people in groups by forcing other people to think that way. <laughs> okay, here it is. I've, I've found it, and it comes from. Uh, Yay! Uh, I was I was inciting I was inciting good, a riot there, you. Mister. Good for you. This comes from uh, a good. <laughs> um, rural land rights advocates. Uh, it's a Facebook post, mm. and that comes from December 25th of 2017. What's at stake in the Bundy trial? Uh, and at the bottom in comments is uh, from somebody, and it is on uh, 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 Anna von Ritt. She she was one of these. Uh, I don't know. If she still calls herself a common uh, jury. Uh, Grand jury, judge, or something like that. Whatever uh, Bruce was saying about himself there. This uh, bad, bad path to follow. Um, she says that the shadow government is purely and simple. All the federal agencies taken together. These agencies uh, came into existence between 1900 and 1940 for the most part, with a few being added over the years since. We call them the alphabet soup agencies because of the acronyms used 
to name these entities, FBI, FEMA, IRS, BATF, BLM, DHS, and so forth. Uh, none of these entry, uh, entities are authorized by our government to exist, much less are they authorized to exercise governmental authority of any kind in our behalf. They're not specifically authorized to operate on our soil, but have only been allowed to do so as subcontractors of the federal government corporations, which have farmed out the responsibilities to subsidiaries. Now, these are the words that uh, Ryan English, the FBI guy, uh, there in Denver in Bruce's uh, trial. Uh, he was also a, a witness, um, advisory witness, I believe is the words he, he told me that he was. So he was in the uh, investigation in, and in the prosecution. Very much for me that goes just like way outside uh, what justice would be. And, and he, he set up uh, um, to discredit Bruce's testimony by knowing exactly what he's going to do. So he gets up and testifies before and after and says, nah, no matter. Uh, yeah, so uh, this is, you know, finger quotes up there. Yeah, we're like... Uh, uh, set up like uh, corporations in a way. It's a way that, uh, you know, doing the business that it is they do. So uh, this this government that you call uh, the enemy is, is much, uh, much uh, bigger and deeper uh, creature than uh, what it is that most would uh, perceive. So just to say government is, is, you know, you'll lose a lot of people. The government against us. Yeah, well, those people ain't listening in the first place. So, what difference does that make? I'm not. I'm not looking to change anybody's mind, Vincent. I'm just telling you how I see it. How you see it's your business. None affect me. That's the whole illusion. Everybody thinks that your your opinion about something affects something, and it and it doesn't. It's what you do that matters. And most of us don't do any harm. We just exist. The people that do the harm get the support of the ignorant masses there you go and they're ignorant because they themselves do not know the truth about who they're supporting they believe the stories donald fucking trump good god oh fucking uh oh fucking bama are you out of your fucking mind these these guys don't make diddly squat any decisions at all they probably don't even know how to wipe their own asses but they're leading fucking countries and, and people are so gullible that they don't really understand it. it's groups of people telling that guy what to say not not anything else how could you have all that knowledge about all these many many topics trump is a fucking moron but he can read a script he does it on tv for what 30 years <laughs> he's a game show host get it Got it. He's not. He's not deciding anything. Well, you, you, you know what I know. But I mean, to the to the two people on the uh, out there in the radio listening world that are still clinging to their voting reg registration card. I mean, geez, if it's not obvious to you by now, they're not working for you. Then what would it ever take? <laughs> Just, I mean, there's fluoride in the freaking water, by law. It's okay to poison you to, to this level. But if you go that level, then the government's going to fine you for doing it. But you still did it. <laughs> so the punishment, what the fuck difference does it make? If there's a punishment to a crime, a crime still got committed. So instead of teaching us as people how, how to do things properly... The system is designed to bring thieves and crooks and lawyers and voters to the top of the heap, and that, and then you're 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 kind of pushed and bullied into that way of thinking, peer pressure, to 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 win and fight and da 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 da. But getting out of it, boy, once you get out of it, it's kind of nice. I just did it in a in a different way than voting. I I had a a similar lifestyle, just not where my life didn't involve other people to that kind of level where they were getting bombed as a result of my name being on a piece of paper. But then I guess they use implied consent in the other way. So it doesn't really matter what you do. They're going to get bombed anyhow because we have psychopaths running the freaking game. And with that, we got a uh, five minutes to sign off here, mister. You want to do the closeout? Um, and say goodbye to all the RLM people that hung out. <laughs> 
In a minute. <laughs> oh, you're not done yet? Okay, I'll start it. Today is Saturday, the 29th of December, 2-0-1-8. and eight. Almost over, people. We only got a couple more days. Okay, and then tomorrow we got the blues in the morning for the hangovers from 12, Saturday night. 12 noon Eastern time. Oh, I thought you were going to do it. No, oh, okay. I was just helping. Okay, and then after that, we go play trivia with Lightning Fingers and his band of merry women. <laughs> Grim Moose, <laughs> Miss Kate. Uh, sometimes Rob will get in there, too, and show us all up. You, know? you get on these streaks. I've had a few of them where they just ask the right questions and other people don't even know what they're asking. And you get like three or four in a row. <laughs> Anyway, and then after that, we got coming out of the woodshed. No, okay, he didn't take he didn't take up on that one. Behind the but, okay, but yeah, Hal Anthony from, comes uh, from behind from behind the woodshed yeah, with uh, the yeah. notice in the news, uh, and he's going to help uh, unfunk your world too, and, and yeah, giving and you just guidance and how to walk through this world and this yeah. oppression that we're under, this occupation. Yeah. No. Yeah, just ignore the the waiting boots and the machete. Don't even don't even look. <laughs> you didn't see them. <laughs> Post production. Never mind. Behind the hey, Try to make a dork table joke. But uh, it missed. <laughs> well, come on, how how's the fighting guy? I mean, paper's still fighting. It's still a. It's a physical way to hurt somebody on is through documents. You can really do a lot of damage. And the government knows how to do it, and the people don't know. <laughs> Diddly do right. And I'm one of them. I don't, I don't want to learn legalese so I can survive in the corporate world. But if I did want to, I know where to go. <laughs> well, we got to understand, still, the, understand the world I, we're living in. Yeah, but I'd get kicked out of the corporate world for something rude. So, nah, I don't want to even bother. So, not even I'm not even like like Danish. Nah, it's too much work to learn how to speak Danish when my wife speaks English. She went through all the trouble of learning my language. Well, let's let her use it. <laughs> right, honey? <laughs> you know what I need to do is, is go and see if all the keys... Or turned off anything if you like i don't button. know yeah you have to talk to a brainiac about that man i no. can't help you. hey there's miss kate miss kate the other night the potluck dinner was talking to a guy from scotland that has lived in canada 30 years is now a snowbird his accent was very unique but the canadian was coming out too <laughs> oh yeah that is that too much i i had a, a friend from Kiwi land, New Zealand, but lived in Kirkwall, Scotland, and had the most unique freaking accent. I don't even know how to explain what she talked like. Can you talk but, like a Scotsman? No, but Kirkwall's is not considered Scotland. Uh, the Orkney Islands are de they're still part of it, but if you live there, they they'll swear up and down they're they're not Scot. It's, you know, they're not part of Scotland. Very strange place. Hannah says. Hannah Bark said, yeah, yeah, she they got fireworks going. All right. So we'll we'll round out then and let me give a sound off here. Uh, oh so yeah, wait, wait. Come, Monday night. Yeah, well Monday. I'll I'll start again and run through it. Oh, okay. All right. So at noon, and sometimes we start a little earlier with some trivia here uh, in the chat <laughs> channel at reallibertymedia.com. Come on along and play. And Grimner tunes in some blues and sometimes a little bit earlier at noon Eastern. As we play along, waiting for how to come along at uh, three o'clock Eastern. It's uh, noon o'clock out there on the left coast for you folks in California and Oregon and whatnot. You're underway and uh, get behind the woodshed and find out uh, what it is against us and notice in the news. And uh, Monday, Grimner comes along 7 p.m. Eastern with uh, Grim Leftovers. And Tuesday, uh, back to in a perfect world contrasting the occupation uh wednesday at 7 p.m eastern grammy is rocket in that rocket chair and thursday uh, flash was the uh, b number two broadcast and uh 20 off and we got free coupons if 
for 20% off. <laughs> uh, yeah, all, they're there for the asking. And Friday, uh, I come back to air with uh, uh, the Bundy Ranch saga. And the, the tale that's told there, and, and it's a radio writing series. And uh, it's, uh, it's going to be a creation in progress and as we go along. And so um, 13 and a half uh weeks and I figured how to end is uh, where we're at and where we're going and I'm starting at the end that's the beginning so yeah if you want to know how a story is told start at the end uh, then do you got Grammy back again at uh, 7 oh I'm at noon central that's 1 p.m. Eastern Friday uh, the, the fourth the uh, first Friday of uh, uh, 2018 then Grammy at 7 19. 19. yeah oh thank you yes at Grammy at 7 p.m. Eastern, and uh, I got to translate 11 Eastern uh, is the uh, uh, Moose and Grimner as uh, the Freakers Ball, y'all. Come on along, and then back again here Saturdays with the Dork Table with uh, Flash and Rooney. Uh, I was thinking, Miss Kate, she's being all nice to us. Thank you. Okay, so hey, uh, yeah. I'm over and out. Au revoir.